Here it is. Oh, I think we're live. <laughs> you guys, I don't know. I'm at my friend's house. I don't know where to look. <laughs> and, and you guys, this is a funny story. I'm at my friend's house. Can somebody like drop me like a comment or a heart and tell me that you know that this Wi-Fi is working? Because otherwise we're just talking to ourselves. And that giraffe buying around. <laughs> Okay, so I see. Okay, so, okay, so you guys, I, I have a confession to make. I'm sitting here in my pajamas at my friend's house, right? Because I got into a fight with my husband, and here's the thing it's over something seemingly so dumb. We got into a fight over a meatball sub. <laughs> because it happened. Because, because, which is like, whatever. But at the root of it, it was because I'm not feeling appreciated, which, come on, you guys, like, any spouse, I think male or female, at some point, maybe struggles with feeling appreciated by their spouse. So, anyway, I didn't want to be at home. I was mad at my husband. And um, I called Marcy. This is my friend Marcy. And I was like, I'm coming over to sit on your couch to talk about oxidative stress, because what else does a nutrition nerd do when she's mad? She wants to come over and talk about healthy things or whatever. And she was like, no, no, no. You can't go live in your pajamas, Joy. That's not professional. That's what Marcy <laughs> says to me. And I was like, um, clearly you don't know my brand because if you guys had to wait for me to look perfect <laughs> until I showed up on live, it would never happen. Okay? Um, so anyway, so I wanted to introduce you guys to my friend Marcy Steiner. I really did. I've been wanting to talk to you guys about oxidative stress because a lot of you guys have been asking me what is it. And I feel like I've been trying to explain it. And, like, I just start babbling about, like, apples and avocados turning brown and, like, people's eyes glaze over. And so That's my... It. <laughs> Marcy is, like, seriously, she has many things, but she is a super exotic superfoods expert. You think that's fair to say? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. She's amazing. Okay. And, but But <laughs> she explains it so well that people's eyes don't glaze over. So, like, what can you tell these guys, like, because everyone's asking me, like, what is oxidative stress? It's pretty simple. It's just basically just damage to the cells of our body. I mean, it's it's normal cells turning into abnormal cells, and literally it happens from this. I mean, so like, we breathe in air, right? I so mean, like breathe... meditation and exercise, like all that. Well, causes... no, just literally breathe, yeah. taking a breath. If you think about an apple and you cut it in half and you stick it up in a little plate and you put it on the kitchen counter and forget about it, leave it out, what happens to it, right? It, it turns brown. The same thing happens when we're breathing air. It's like our cells change. And it's that damage that is at the core of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different diseases and malfunctions in the body. Like... Everything you never want to experience and anything that you don't want anyone you love to experience, that's at the core of it, the cell damage. And it's, it's you know, literally it's more than just breathing air. There's so much that, that causes oxidative stress to happen in the body. Um, we hold the cell phone. I don't have a cell phone, but you know, we, <laughs> we hold we hold our cell phone up to our head. We're we're drinking water that's got chemicals added to it to make it safe, and it's damaging our cells. Preservatives in our food, colorings in our food. Even if you are like me, you know, you eat organic food. You go to the restaurant. You don't know every single ingredient of everything we're putting in our body. It's causing us literally to be on fire with free radicals. Um, what else causes oxidative stress? I mean, just you have a fight. You go to the park bench. You're sitting. You're sitting on the park bench, and you're breathing in jet fuel. I mean, you yeah. just can't avoid it. We got a we got a toxic environment, and there's very very slim chance that you're going to be able to combat it. So, what does that have to do with um, antioxidants? Well, um, what so far the damage, all that we actually have three hundred septillion free radicals attacking us every day. That's like a three with 26 zeros after it. And what most people are doing about it, that damage, is they are turning to antioxidants. They're eating blueberries, they're eating goji berries, camu berries, acai berries, like anything that can combat that damage. The problem is, is that all of the supplements are what we call direct antioxidants. So one blueberry, for example, can only neutralize one of those 300 septillion free radicals and then it dies off. So you can only imagine how many blueberries we'd have to eat every single day to try to keep up with the damage. That's why you see people that are juicing, right, and they're working out, and 
you th and they're still struggling with abnormal cell growth or they're having you know health challenges it's just it's very very difficult so they're what we call direct antioxidants that's been that's been the answer i mean that's been the best that we can do so far but now we know there's another solution okay so everybody's gonna ask me just to save me a little bit of time you guys everyone's gonna be like okay what do i do about it what does someone do about oxidative stress well we're finding that there is a way to use nutrition um, and this is all based on science to activate the body it's a it's a new realm a new space that's called nutra genomics it's nutrition that activates your gene expression and so basically i mean I, I, what it does is there's 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 a way to activate a specific pathway in the body we call nrf2 like nancy rachel frank NRF2. That's it, number two. two. You two, don't have two. to be that smart to talk about this, you guys. I mean, she's just. I'm, I'm just sitting here. I'm I told you she's I, making her feel better. I'm like, I, I'll do it, Joy. I can't I'll talk it. about okay. it. I like she talks about okay. it. Okay, all right. So anyway, so you activate this pathway inside the cell, and it, and we have found this way to do it in a way that's very, very effective, the most effective way out there. And when this pathway gets activated. What happens is like a master regulator, like a switch goes on. And then what happens is your own body cells start to manufacture their own antioxidant enzymes. So you don't have to consume antioxidants. Your body starts making them and you get put in a position where you're not just neutralizing free radicals at a one to one ratio. Now you're able to neutralize them at a million to one. So this is what we call indirect antioxidants by activating this specific genomic pathway. And what we find is not only is it in, indirect, the indirect antioxidants coming on, so it's like other things, amazing things are happening. When you activate this pathway, you upregulate hundreds of survival genes. You downregulate fibrosis genes. It's like taking a dimmer switch and turning it down, the inflammation. So, I mean, these are, there are a lot of like breakthroughs out there, but oxidative stress is something you don't want to accumulate. And it's funny because we, our experience with it is different because it accumulates in different parts of our body. Some people feel like brain fog and other people might feel a pain in their knee. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's breakdown. Yeah. I was, well, she's going to kill me, but like my daughter, my nine year old, like yeah. she was. So let's just say she was having temper tantrums. I don't want to like yeah. put too much of her personal business out there, but yeah. she was having a lot of temper tantrums, and I honestly like I just thought that was her personality. Like it never ever occurred to me that that would be oxidative stress. And when we you know reduce that oxidative stress load, she stopped having temper tantrums. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful to you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking me this so much better than what I would do. I'm like, so you know <laughs> the apple on your counter? It turns brown, <laughs> and people are just like, uh huh, and I'm like. That's oxidative stress. That's, yeah. So I wanted Excuse to bring Marcy on. Hopefully this clarifies it a bit. Um, I'm going to go home now and deal with my meatball sub incident. <laughs> Breathe air, but reduce your oxidative stress on the way. Okay. Bye, you guys. Have a great night. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye.